Hey DNN, it's Dylan Thomas and today we have a student spotlight with the one, the only, Alex Fuse. How you doing Alex? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me on the student spotlight, Dylan. Of course, I wouldn't want to have anybody else. <laughs> Can you tell us maybe your major and some of the clubs and organizations you're a part of here at Dean? Yeah, so I'm a communication student and once um, Dean College gets a sports broadcasting major next fall, I'll be actually switching majors to sports broadcasting. Um, some of the clubs I'm involved in is uh, the Resident Student Association, uh, the Student Activities Committee, Dean News Network. I'm also on the sports broadcasting team as well. And in the spring, I'm, I'm the team manager of the baseball team. Oh, wow. Um, so, and then for the Student uh, Activities Committee, I'm also the, going to be uh, the chair of members in the spring. So I'll be working with all the members involved in the Student Activities Committee, uh, trying to get the enrollment of the club mm -hmm. up helping out with events. I'm doing that now as a student representative for SAC as well. SAC student, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, what we, <laughs> that's what we all call it. Um, so I, I love that. It's mm -hmm. fun getting engaged with everyone on campus and yeah. just working with everyone involved in the club. It's, 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 it's a lot of fun. Well, it sounds like you're a busybody. Now, if you don't mind me asking, why Dean? Why would someone with your kind of talent choose Dean over maybe some other schools? Um, it's a great question, and I came to Dean College um, on a sports broadcasting camp three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and Professor John Rook, the voice of the New England Patriots, the voice of the Providence Friars, leads that camp. Yeah. And he's a, one of the main reasons mm -hmm. why I came here and why I'm here now. Um, I did that two summers in a row. Um, and, you know, Dean College is actually the only college I applied to. Um, so I've known I wanted to come here for three mm -hmm. years now, and it's really a dream college, and it's a great college as well. So you got to. <laughs> You know, I'm not just, you know, up here, you know, saying, oh, Dean College is amazing. I really do think Dean College is a great college. It's a great place here. It, it feels like home. Yeah. And I think that's mm -hmm. especially is what, Very number important. why, or reason why I'm mm -hmm. here and why a lot of people like it here. Yeah. Moving back to John Rook for a second, would you say he's one of your biggest inspirations when it comes to sports broadcasting? Yeah, it's funny because I have two of my biggest role models, mm -hmm. him, uh, John Rook, and John Sterling, the voice of the New York Yankees. Yeah. Um, John Rook is a, a great person. Um, if you haven't met him, if you're here on campus and haven't met uh, Professor Rook, you have to. Uh, he's one of the greatest guys in the business as well. He's been yeah. doing it over 40 years. Um, he's got to, he broke some major stories. He's actually the, the first guy to report the Patriots were staying in New England um, because there are a lot of rumors with the Patriots that they were supposed to leave New England, but he's actually the first one to report they're staying here. A lot of people don't know that, but that's also true. He broke a lot of other stories. He still works for WEEI. Yeah. He has his own you know, blog there. He mm -hmm. releases that every weekend. He works for the Providence Friars and New England mm -hmm. Patriots. He's another very busy person as well. Um, and it's, it's incredible to work with him and talk to him almost every day here on campus. And you know, he does great pretty hard, though. <laughs> I definitely know you and uh, Professor Rook have a close relationship. Now, talking about uh, Mr. Sterling, I believe you have interviewed him before on your YouTube channel. Can you talk a little bit about your YouTube channel and that interview? Yeah, so it's funny because the reason why I began in the career of sports broadcasting, and I'll t tell you a quick story, <laughs> I was grounded for two weeks mm -hmm. uh, in seventh grade, and I couldn't watch any TV. Um, so what I did was I turned on my radio, and I started listening to the Yankees. I actually despised baseball. I pretty much hated every sport. Mm -hmm at this time and in my life and I fell in love with his voice and baseball in general and the Yankees baseball. Um, so ever since then um, I've been listening to every single Yankee game and I, I said before you know this is the only person I've ever wanted to interview. Um, last year I worked um, the baseball the New York Baseball Hall of Fame not the Baseball Hall of Fame the New York State Baseball Hall of Fame where he was inducted. I worked the event and I actually got to eat a steak dinner with him um, and talk <laughs> with him awesome. for a few while few hours and I told him you know look he, you're the reason why I started doing this and you know we talked and mm -hmm. he's like yeah I would love to interview you, you know be interviewed by you so um, I interviewed him in February and it was one of the best interviews I've ever done it was my favorite very mm -hmm. interesting guy fun fact he actually started working with the Yankees in 1988 mm -hmm. he has not missed one Yankee game since that's dedication. That reminds me of Professor Michaels here at Dean, in fact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like if Professor Michaels never missed one day since then. <laughs> and um, he's never missed a spring training game, and yep. he's never missed a regular season mm. game. So I think for him personally, um, he doesn't get enough credit in the business. So yeah. I think it's incredible to think since 1988. This, look at the history. Yeah. I mean, Derek Jeter, Mariano Rivera, 
uh, even now, Aaron Judge and just uh, uh, so Andy much, Pettis yeah. and uh, just so many World Series championship wins since yeah. then. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Imagine just being able to say, yeah, I watched every single game of Derek Jeter's career. That, it, that is truly incredible. Or Mariano Rivera's career. Look at how much history in the past you know, 30 plus years that happened in New York and with all the other teams. It's incredible to think about. Yeah. And as we can see here, this is how come we at DNN love Alex so much because he's able to talk so much and he has so much knowledge, especially about sports and broadcasting and all that stuff. But here's the question for you. Why did you join DNN? Well, it's funny because I've never really worked, you know, on a news channel before. Yeah. I've always done, mm -hmm. you know, podcasts, interviews, but I love this. This is so much fun. It's like a new mm -hmm. avenue for me. Um, I'm not talented. I mean, you're probably more talented. You are more talented than me. Oh, stop and, it, and Alex. A lot of people are here, so <laughs> I don't know why they picked me. But uh, mm -hmm. it, it's incredible. It's a fun experience. I'm learning every day, and it's incredible to get my hands. You know, this is another thing about Dean College, and you can put this, you know, this is the reason why a lot of people come here is their ability to get hands-on experience as a first-year student here or even as a senior here. There's no limits if you were to go to a larger school, you would probably not even get this opportunity as a senior. So just thinking about that, this is another reason why Dean College is so great. And mm -hmm. it's great for students like us yeah, to like be us. able to do this because at any other school, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to. Yeah. So what would you say would be the favorite part of DNN for yourself? Just getting the ability to learn new things every day. Um, just learning how to work on the teleprompter and just learning how to build chemistry with Mara and whoever I'm working with, mm -hmm. like like yourself here, yeah. just getting that ab ability to work with you guys on camera to learn, okay, well, this is how you put a microphone on, this is how you're supposed to sit, you know, this is, your hair can't be this way, you know, <laughs> and just learning that stuff that um, a lot of students mm -hmm. don't get the opportunity to, like I said, junior, senior year of college, or maybe even in the business. So I think just, you have to be well-versed in this career of mm -hmm. communications, broadcasting, whatever you want to call it, yeah. media, journalism. Uh, so you want to be well versed in everything that you're doing, and Dean College is able to provide that to a lot of students here and basically anyone that wants to get involved. So it's great. It truly is great. I love my experience here at Dean. Um, well, this is all the time we have. Thank you so much. I'm Dylan Thomas, and this is Alex Fuse. Thank you so much for having me on the Student Spotlight. It was my honor, man. Thank you.